Welcome back. I'm asleep. Was or I knocked out, or I was stabbed in the gut, basically. So yeah. unconscious. Ruby. Oh, he Milo. Knows who you are. Milo. This guy looks suspicious. Milo. He looks like a hip. He looks like a hipster. He's he's got like a beard. And a, and he's got a fishing tackle hat. <laughs> he's got a bad beard and mustache. <laughs> Clearly doesn't have any friends. Otherwise, his friends would have been like, dude, it's not working. Is mine? I'll deal with it. Um, no, you look all right. Yeah, right. yeah. I wouldn't complain. But see, this guy just really. <laughs> Nobody told him like his face is like pointy. A little bit, yeah. He looks like a muppet. A little, yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I think they called uh, beards like that a chin strap beard. Now, like, like it's just keeping his fishing hat on. Yeah. Keeping his expensive lures. Uh huh. Just point me, point me in the right direction. I'll do the rest. She's like, you got a hole in your gut, Ruby. And his mustache is a little thin looking. Like a like a porn stash. I'll make a call. Like it's long, but it looks almost the color of his face, so it's barely there. What happened? The call has been made. Was um, that loading or something? I'm immediately yeah, better. She's interested in meeting you. Yeah, I guess. Where? It's uh, transitioning the from the fishing hut to. She said she wanted a fishing hut or an airplane or I, I lost it. I don't know. I, you were in some kind of shack, I think. Ooh. Beautiful. You'll have nice hair. Please. <laughs> I want your hair. Your reputation proceeds. She probably wants her to comb it first. Yeah, she's uncomfortably close. Yep. I'm glad you approve. She is not backing down either. That's awesome. <laughs> no weakness. This is a 13th century treatise on the geographic. Geographic? Oh, that's boring. Oh, no, that's super interesting. Come on, man. It's about the third in a volume of three of geographical architecture. Yeah. What, you don't read that before you go to bed? You gotta put me to sleep. You don't wake that one or read that when you wake up in the morning? You don't. If I read that, it'll put me asleep. You don't, like, go to school one day and be like, Oh, yeah! English architecture! 13th century! <laughs> Heck, yeah! Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Airplanes. Cargo. Weapons. Drugs. Oh, so she wants the third book. She said that she has the first two. So she wants the third one. Those tassels have got to get annoying. Yeah. They're... Probably not that practical. They're fairly stylish, which is, of course, what matters in a, you know, any sort of cinematograph, graphic, cin cinematog cinematographic, graphical. You know what I mean. <laughs> That's a weird word. I don't even know if that is a word. C cinematographical. I made that up on the spot. I know, but I mean, you exaggerated it a little bit, but cinematography, and then I said tried graphical. to change it to graphic. So cinema, cinemagraphic. Sort of, yeah. Like the the style of the show or the the play by play or whatever. Hey, look at this treasure. Oh, they found you, and nope. you immediately started murdering people. <laughs> Didn't nope. skip are we gonna beat. jump out? Oh, yep. I'm not, I'm not gonna well, why are you not playing this? Like uh, this seems like something. Where oh, they... I remember this part. This was fun. I was gonna say this seems this almost is like, like dude. This is like this was like freaking um, uh, shoot 'em up. <laughs> Remember, remember that scene in Shoot 'em Up? I have saw that movie one time years ago and I've forgotten <laughs> it. But um, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it seemed like that that little bit there up in the ship was like something that they wanted to make a level, and then they realized that it'd be complicated, and this was the part they really wanted to do. Yeah, flying through the air. So they're like, screw it, we'll just try to condense it down to a cutscene and we'll just get straight to this. Oh, there's another guy. Exploding barrels for the win! Oh, there they are. What's up, buddies? Trying to script a scene like that probably would've been pretty difficult. Oh, there's the there's the cockpit. Yep. How is how is so many guys still alive? I'm also sort of curious. No, I guess. Hmm. I don't. Know, I'm just sort of wondering why everything's falling faster than you are. I mean, like, I think I think from a a sense of it, like. Everything falls at basically the same speed. Nah, it depends Explo on, the, on the mass. It and depends a little bit on drag and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, a bit like like and like so the wings might. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Don't do it. I have nowhere to hide. 
I'm free falling. That's true. Well, why don't you take some cover? Well, I would if I could like, <laughs> I, I, I think I could be able to control, but I can't remember if I like could for sure. Like, like can I just no? I guess not. Can't even squiggle. No, I'm just floating. Just floating. Um, but yeah, I think I think they have drag and stuff like that in maths, sure, but like, I think it generally sort of forms like a well, if pretty you, linear kind of equation. If you, draw, if you drop the same amount of bricks and the same amount of feathers, would it fall at the same speed? Um, like the weight of bricks and the weight of feathers. Same, like a yeah, pound. Yeah, 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 it would. they fall at the same speed? Yeah. I mean, it sort of depends, I guess, if they're loose bricks or loose feathers, right? Like, loose feathers would obviously scatter. Loose bricks would not so much. Yeah, this isn't, this is going worse than before. <laughs> but, um... Who is... You know, if they're all packaged together, like, a pound of feathers is gonna be much larger than a pound of bricks, but they're both, like, a pound. So I would assume they'd still fall basically the same. How are they, like, shooting me from, like, upside down? I don't know. They're and why am I not killing them fast enough? <laughs> oh, wait, I have other guns. Yeah, don't forget about your shotgun. I don't know how useful it's going to be. I don't know, because I'm like guy, really far away. Um, is there any way you can do time slowing here? Anyway? That's a pretty useful mechanic for you. No. And that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, they're a little bit too far. Or a little bit too squirrely. I, I can slightly zoom in. I'll just keep shooting the, the barrels. That seems to work pretty well. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It just it just strikes me as odd that everything here is falling faster than you. Well, um, she, she might be spreading out her arms. Well, she obviously is... That's how in, skydivers slow down. Yeah, she's obviously in a position that gives her more drag, right? Like, she's not trying to plummet. Yeah. Um, Whereas, that, like, like, the airplane parts and whatever, they're just kind of free-falling. They, they, yeah. they can't consciously go yeah oh I want to go slower yeah no 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 come on come on come on stupid wow either these guys take a lot of shots or I don't know oh why. dang it I can't hide or anything I don't like it's, that it seems to me like maybe they only start shooting after they've reached their uh yeah well I mean I'm having to like point. scout around and stuff because uh -huh. they're not it's like Blurp, blurp, fish in a barrel. Oh, where did you come from? You have beaten this game, right? Yes. Okay, just double checking. <laughs> Actually, a couple times. It's not too surprising. I remember this game being, like, fun, but now that I think about it, I didn't think I liked this particular level. Even though it was kind of cool. You know, you could maybe... I don't know. I was going to say you might be able to, like, save the barrels for, like, later in the level. They, they, they keep falling, though. Yeah, well, that's why I sort of started rescinding my statement. Good, you're paying attention. Like, it was Where, it was a there thought. You are, bitch. Because any any way I can, I can't turn very well. Try to think of help. I try, but like I turn extremely slow. I do kind of like this this secondary auto lock on though. Yeah. Because like even if I'm not able to get on, I'm I'm still shooting one of them at least. Sure. There you are. It's pretty interesting that you never have to reload. Yeah, what was that movie? Was it uh, the Cowboy Bebop movie? Yeah, no, yeah, I think it might have been, like, when he was uh, fighting... Uh, no, not Vicious. Vicious was in the, the in series. the series. Oh, I made it. But there was, uh, in the movie, yeah, there, there was, was a guy. part where... Yeah, he unloaded, like, 24 bullets. Yeah, I think we counted it one time. I think it was actually over 30. Like, 33 Hey, a parachute! Nice. Now she's diving. Oh, yeah, okay. I, oh, shit, I remember this part now. <laughs> He must have great eyesight. Hey man, this is just like Star Fox. <laughs> if only you were also shooting. I don't know how she didn't get like third degree burns. Well, I guess I'm in the atmosphere. Maybe. Maybe you weren't in the, the heat Whoa! long enough. Whoa! Wow, how far away was this Whoa! parachute when she saw it? Oh, wrong one. I went to the wrong one. I see that. It. It wanted me to go to the bottom, but it, like, showed the everything as if, like, I can pick. Uh-huh. That, at least I don't have to do that thing again. Yep, that's nice. See, that looks but like still, it's about, yeah. that looks like it's about, like, 30 yards away. Yeah, with nothing in between you. 
Except that guy who I just shot. Yes. You're like, I okay, want that. no problem. Gotta get that parachute. Wait, where'd all this crap come <laughs> from? I mean, it wouldn't be much of a level if there was nothing to do. You just, like, hey, look, I got the parachute. Hooray! But, uh... Well, no, then they could have added something, like, after the parachute. Like, I have to, like, steer with the parachute and everything. I just yeah. went through that. Yeah, that looked like you probably should have gotten hit a little more than you did. That looked like I shouldn't have gotten hit. Also, these are instant kills. Yeah. I'm falling to my death and getting smacked in the face. It's true, I'm but going high speed. You know, I did, didn't expect it to be instant death. I can't shoot. I think last time you were injured. If because, this was uh, Star Fox, I could shoot everything and, like, blow it up. Yep. Line up your rockets and whatever, your missiles. Use bombs wisely. Yep, use bombs. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. I broke my hand there. That reminds me of Recruit the Moose. Yeah. It's been a while. Shit. Burn. That was a fun joke. Okay, it's in the bottom one. Nice. That should have killed me. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah. Where you gotta be getting close. Where is it? Is that the engine? See, oh, oh, that's why. All this stuff was falling so I could have something to dodge later on. Yeah, I guess that's all, what it you know, is. That's the, that's the cockpit, which I saw. Yep, uh-huh. You did see the cockpit. Is that it? Do I go in? I guess yeah, so. Yeah, you're going in. Man, this is really a lot like Star Fox. Oh, there it is! There it is, finally, jeez. It's stuck! Oh, great. Quick time oh, shit. event now. I think I missed it. <laughs> wow. Anticlimatic. <laughs> well... Wait, did she scream after having her neck snapped? Yeah, she did. Interesting. Do I have to do it all over again? Oh, okay, no. No, no, I was you, not, you just no, the quick I time. do. You're at the quick time. Wait, no, I'm not. No, you're not. Oh, God. Okay, well, how about next time on Operation Pixel, we'll be back to the quick time. <laughs> That's just bullshit. So you can focus on this. That is pretty stupid. 